Ooh, ooh, it's working, it's working, it's working. Okay, uh, we're gonna film this all old school like. Uh, all right, we are getting ready to go. Uh, so this is my, I guess, I, I think I did this intro already. I'm not sure, we'll do it again. Otherwise, we're about to start on our one week uh, excapade, which really turns into about one in a little bit. Well, it's Monday, so no, it's one It's one week. It's literally one week. It's Monday, right? Yeah, it's Monday, because I'm picking up tomorrow, Tuesday. It's Monday! It's Monday! We are going to go pick up tomorrow morning, but I don't want to waste two and a half hours to do so tomorrow. I'm going to do it today. Uh, not in my history. I need my address book. I go here so often, it's in my address. No! Up! Up! Here we go, right here. Uh, begin your route empty. Yep, pick it up on, yes, pick it up on Tuesday. The it claims 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, let's, uh, two and a half hour ride. Are you ready? It's just gonna be like old school. Except in a red truck with mirrors. Because Landstar wants your mirrors. Alright, let's make sure nobody messed with it. Nope, still hooked to the trailer. Make sure that that's up and it doesn't cause me any problems. 81 degrees outside. Uh, it's evening. Sun will set in about an hour. Tom knows. Tom, when does the sun set? Yeah, in an hour. Uh, it's almost summer, literally. Grumble, 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 grumble. It's beautiful out. This is my hiding spot. Don't tell nobody where my hiding spot is. And don't mess it up. My hiding spot. <laughs> All right, before I get around the corner, let's go. I need to put my life together because it's not and uh, then I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna sleep and I'll deliver tomorrow sometime it'll be great so yeah we'll pick this up after I've settled and gone to bed so I'll see you tomorrow good morning internet is that a thing I can do we're getting ready for day two I should probably put on my sunglasses I'm starting to realize that it's a little bit brighter outside and despite being overcast we only have about three and a half, maybe four, about four hours, I think. Um, we're gonna get there around three o'clock, 3.15 today. I can do, hopefully it's a drop hook. I think it's a drop hook. And then move on to my next pickup out in Shelby, Ohio. And then that one goes all the way to Maine. So we are ahead of schedule by uh, a little bit. I mean, I probably would have made it this far if I had stayed where I stayed last night and then slept the 10 hours. It's, it's all where you put the brake, I guess. So, anyway, we're gonna get moving. Um, I'm getting fuel where I usually do in Barkeysville. And then, just a little bit, just 60 gallons, just to top it off a little bit. Just a smidge. Not top it off, I mean, I'm like, never mind. It's not, it's not full. <laughs> it's not full. So we'll go do that, and then carry on down the road. And then come back, and then we'll fill again in Barkeysville, because the fuel price is the best on the entire route up here. All right, let's go, let's go drive.
Uh, there's my other trailer. Hooray! We have arrived. We are 12 hours early, maybe 13. Uh, I'm climbing up this really tiny little hill so I can get back here and do my drop hook. Drop hook. Get excited. Hello, big camera. That's staring me in the face. Woo! All right. This is an interesting space. I feel like I should have come at this from a different angle. Oh no, it's a double drop hook because that's the door he wants me in. All right, well, I'll drop it here. Nice and straight in the door. Ta-da! Looks good. Took a little while. I gotta go close my doors yet. Uh, but other than that, we are done with this drop and hook and I just made a good chunk of money. <laughs> You're watching me in the warehouse through that door. Alright, uh, it's starting to rain so I'm gonna cut this short so I can go close my doors and get out of the rain. <laughs> okay, good morning internet. It's day... Three? I guess day two, because I started a day early. So we're on day two. I'm about to go. I stopped at a I stopped at a pilot. I guess she had a pilot. Ta-da, pilot. Nothing special, right? We're just in Canton, Ohio, hanging out. No big deal. Right. Okay. So go ahead and sit back down. I'm wearing my old glasses just because I wear them when I wake up. The prescription has changed ever so slightly, so it's a little bit stronger. So I have to get used to the new change. So I'm kind of doing this transitional thing. So anyway. I just did my pre-trip. We're getting ready to roll out. Um, but my front drive tires, so there's two sets, right? There's the back and the front. So my front drive tires look, are looking a little low. They're all even, but they're a little low. So I wanted to make sure. So I have this fancy thing called a tire gauge. Ta-da. Um, and so you use that to measure the tread inside of your tires. And come to find out, surprisingly, that I'm still right around a 13 on all of my tires right across the board. Um, so, I don't have to replace my tires as soon as I thought I did, but I have to keep an eye on it. So, it's a nice thing to have uh, when you have actual time to measure your tires. The back ones are better. The back ones are 22s. So, I think I have to replace the front ones first and then wait for those to wear down and then replace the next one. I'd like it if I could just replace them all at the same time, but it seems like a waste of money since the back ones are still fine. So, um, I checked the fronts. The front actually might need to get replaced sooner. The drive, the, the steers, the steers. I always get them all mixed up. The tandem's in the front. I gotta replace sooner. Uh, those are coming up around like a nine or 11. So those I'll probably end up buying steers and drives for the front axle right around the same time. I have no idea how to do that yet. I know there's some like special LCAP program that I can get a tire discount through and I have to like call them and talk to them about it. But I haven't done that yet because I'm not ready yet. <laughs> but we're getting there. Um, so possibly depending on how the money works out this month, I can put some of that away so that I can save it for the tires. Um, we'll just have to see how everything works out. Uh, 
but I got an extra trip I didn't expect this week. So I knew I was doing this load and I knew I was doing the main load, which pays really, really good money. But I didn't know if I was gonna get anything out of Maine because a lot of the stuff that comes out of Maine is like 45,000 pound loads of water and I don't wanna put that much weight on my truck. Sorry guys, I don't pull things that are heavy unless I desperately need to. And I desperately didn't need <laughs> to get myself out of Maine. I had no problem just going home after that because I can go stop and see people in Massachusetts on my way. So anyway, <laughs> I looked on Monday just for kicks and I found a really nice load going to New Jersey, which is a shorter deadhead and it paid really good, really good money. It was like $3 a mile. Actually, it was over $3 a mile. Either way. It's not a lot of miles, but it's still for, you know, a weekend. I, I wasn't going to do anything anyway because Friday was my last delivery in Maine. So I was just going to go home. And now I have a $1,200 load that's going to take me home anyway. And uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. So, unexpected windfall. <laughs> Pays for my fuel. All right, I've wiped bladders on. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go move on to the next part, which is me driving somewhere. All right, as promised, we are leaving. Leaving, leaving. Um, I was gonna say something. I don't remember what it was. Check. Whoops. All right, we're still connected. Yay! Woo! Everybody, get excited. Um, I only have 36 or 35 minutes left on this card before it's full, so I'm gonna try and keep things a little bit shorter, <laughs> only because I don't have, I only have 35 minutes I can film. Um, it'll make it easier for me to edit too. <laughs> uh, things I've learned. Uh, Allie is a lazy, lazy person. Um, so yes, I'm gonna have to try and trim this up. So I just wanted to let you know if clips seem a little short or rush. That might be why. Um, <clears throat> uh, ugh. Oh, I didn't get my water bottle. <sighs> F me. Ugh. It's only an hour. I'll be okay. <laughs> oh, I got my coffee though. All right, let's uh skedaddle out of here. Get some speed. Uh, warm up. Yes, yes, Barbosa. Yes, let us go. Go get that freight and that delicious, delicious, massive amount of money to go to Maine. <laughs> empty and I see a pull through actually I see a lot of pull throughs nice nice uh, they seem to have them organized except ours so I'm uh, I guess I'll put it in one of these rooms a lot of empties either way I'm here I'm picking up my trailer I'm trying to drop this one I'm gonna pick up the one that's already loaded and I'm gonna leave I love it uh, but I like that there's a pull through like sitting right here uh, oof. Oof. watch me go you ready I'm gonna do it I don't care. There's no sign saying I can't, so I'm gonna. Whee! Oh no, it's muddy! I was clean. I did at one point have a clean truck. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Look at that! Almost like I know what I'm doing. I don't. I really don't. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I, I am faking it. <laughs> Imposter syndrome hits me all the time. Very quaint little town. Very quaint. Very, uh, very Ohio. Oh, climb the hill, climb the hill, climb the hill. Climb the hill. Over the tracks. Climb the hill. Over the tracks. I'm big enough. Oof. <laughs> I'm over the tracks. I've cleared them. Oh, God. This, this turn. This is a button hook for sure. Nobody turn left. Stay out of my turning lane. Don't do it, Kia. You stay back there. I'm taking over this whole intersection. Watch me go. Oh, they set this up perfectly. La da da da. 
Da, 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 da. Oh yes. Oh no. Are my tandem slid all the way back? I didn't think they were. Oh, they might be. Nah, I don't think so. I'm not that far back. Continue on this road for ten miles. They're probably further than I would want them to be back. Are you tandem? Yeah. All right. Woo! We made it. We're moving. I am now on my way out of town. <laughs> that turn, though. <laughs> You are correct. That turn was not truck friendly. They set it up so that it could be truck friendly, but it's still bad. <laughs> to show you the cluster that is happening right now. There's this guy, there's a Volvo that you can see all the way over there, and this Volvo, and then there's an exit over there, there's a parking spot next to me, and there's another parking spot over there. Ah! <laughs> and you guys are now on the dashboard. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> but look at this, look at this mess. Look at it, look at it. <sighs> it's not getting better. This has been going on for at least five to six minutes, but the clouds over there are really pretty. Yeah, yeah, everybody is doing dumb things. Chill out, chill. All right, Volvo is giving up. That guy is moving. This guy is moving. Oh my God, oh my God, what a nightmare. Are you coming in here, madame? You are more than welcome to. <laughs> oh. If you can do it, do it. Oh my goodness, what a, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. All she wants to do is park. She's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> do it, you got this. You got this. I think she's the best driver here right now. Because everybody else over there didn't know what they were doing. Oh, what a day. Did you guys have fun on the dashboard? I need to plug this in. Um, we are in Milesburg, Pennsylvania, calling it a night. I have, well, Tom says I have 595 miles. I don't think I do. And like 10 hours of driving left but again I don't think I have that either so we're gonna call it a day here I'm gonna get up early and finish this <sighs> is she coming in what is she doing she doesn't want my spot I just want a neighbor so I can go to bed <laughs> I don't like going to bed until I know that someone has like parked next to me here's another Volvo maybe he'll come take this spot no please don't please don't please don't I don't want to listen to that thing all night. Please don't.
so quiet up here. I can hear the fridge running. It's so quiet. We are in Maine, um, Lewiston, Maine, delivering right now. Um, a lot of this stuff I think had to get offloaded by hand, but something has been moving inside and out of that trailer. This has been very big, but it just got really quiet. So I'm wondering if they're close to being done. Either way, um, this was my moneymaker trip. This is the whole reason we did the whole loop, is because this is the one that made good money. And now we're gonna go about an hour up into Waterville, go pick up another load that's going to New Jersey. Um, that's the one that's technically taking me home, <laughs> but I'm only going to New Jersey. And then from there, um, I'm figuring out what I'm doing for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, because my next trip is already set up. This delivery for my next trip is delivering on Monday. And then from there, I'm going back to Minneapolis. Oh, excuse me. I got up early for this because <laughs> I stopped about an hour and a half, maybe two hours south just because I got out of all the traffic and called it quits. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I don't know if that's too much information. Is that too much information? Did I just give away everything? Now when I say that this load, oh, I'm already in, <laughs> was my money maker. Uh, I, I mean, all of my loads on this have been money makers, but this is the one where I really, really made good, 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 good money. Um, I believe, I haven't checked the load that brought us to Ohio, but I believe that every single load that I have pulled this week has been $3 a mile. <laughs> it's give or take. This one was really good. Um, but the one that we're going to go get is also $3 a mile. Like, I don't work for anything less than $1,000 a day. I just don't. Sorry guys, my time is valuable. <laughs> if I'm gonna do this job, I'm gonna make money. I'm not gonna sit around on my butt. The only time that I ever pull anything that I don't make a lot of money on is when I'm looking for something just to like cover the miles home. Small town Maine. Big old trucks. Almost like they are busy. Very small town. Very cute town, though. Very cute. Very quaint. Anyway, we're going to pick up my, my next $3 a mile load. Because, uh, I don't like working for under $2. I just don't. But I don't make any money. Not money that I can, like, sustain on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could take a load like that to get out of an area, but... I don't do it often because I don't go to areas I have to do that to lately. It's just... Just how I roll. Just how I work. Oof. Come on, big guy. We're almost there. We're almost there. Gotta use the ladies. Story of my life. Staying hydrated. <laughs> Everywhere I stop. Oof. See how little it is. It's so little. This way. Oh no, not another one. Oh, come on, I just went under a bridge. Ugh. <laughs> There's no label. Uh, what does it say? I can't read it. 14-7? Uh, uh, it doesn't feel 14-7. Uh, oh, climb, 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 climb. I'm empty. <laughs> It's a hot day, I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with a splash gun, so I cool down Won't you come on over, we can party till the sun's down Baby let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink I could go for some Queen B2 
Uh, yeah, and then my my time will continue, but you guys are gonna go back to the office. So, I'll see you later. And we're back in the office. Couple of things before we go. Uh, episode is over. <laughs> That's all done. I've done my week. I wanted to tell you guys about the Octo Squad that is now live. So Patreon is going away. So this is the last postcard that you will be getting from Patreon, okay? That said, I have already ordered the July postcards. So if you guys wanted a postcard for July, or maybe even August, then you need to sign up for the Octo Squad right now. Now that I've got my postcards out of the way for a few months, <laughs> and the backgrounds should be set up till probably 2020, something like that. I was working on 2020, this is my 2020 list. I can really start focusing on pins. I'd like to do collector pins, so that's my next project that isn't just a video every couple of weeks. This is it, end of video. Thanks so much for watching, thanks for hanging out. Let me know how you guys liked this format. Uh, this was actually really easy for me to film because I filmed everything on the GoPro, including this outro, mostly because I left my big camera in the truck and I'm not going to get it right now. <laughs> so. Let me know what you thought, let me know what you think. There's a whole comment section down below. I could be someone that says like and subscribe, but I don't care. You do you. It's really no big deal. No skin off my back. You see where I make my money? All right, I'm getting out of here. Again, June postcards, last one on Patreon. If you're a patron, you need to unsubscribe. And I'm gonna go show you what he's doing after the credits. So roll them. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going home. Okay, say bye. Say bye.